Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central and this is the Dell Inspiron 15 7559. I reviewed it recently and thought it was a solid gaming laptop for just $799. The biggest problem was the slow loading times. In this video, I'll show you how to make it faster with a couple of upgrades for just about 125 bucks. The base model of the Dell Inspiron 15 7559 includes a 15.6 inch Full HD anti-glare display, 6th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 1TB of 5400 RPM hard drive, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M, and a 74 watt hour 6 cell battery. We're going to double the RAM to 16 gigs and transfer the system files to a faster 250 gigs SSD. We just need two parts, the Samsung 850 EVO M.2 250 gigs SSD for 91 bucks and a crucial 8 gigs RAM for about $34. I'll include the links in the description below. If you want to spend more money, you can get the 500 gigs SSD option from Samsung for about $168. Since I'm just putting my system files there, the 250 gigs option is more than enough. The next step is to make sure the laptop is off, remove the bottom panel with a screwdriver for just one screw. It doesn't matter which part you install first. For the RAM, insert the edge with the golden circuit board contacts at an angle and then push down on the other side. It should click into place. You'll know you're inserting it the right way when there's nothing blocking the notches. For the M.2 SSD, just insert it at an angle and then lock it down with the screw. And that's it for the hardware. Put the cover back on and power up the laptop. You'll see a message that the amount of system memory has changed. Click continue and you can confirm the RAM installation by typing about your PC in the taskbar. It opens the settings with information about your system. Installed RAM should now say 16 gigs instead of 8 gigs. The next step is to move your system files to the new SSD. Fortunately, it's a lot easier than you think. You'll need to install the Samsung data migration software. Keep in mind that this only works with Samsung SSD products. Confirm the source and target disks and then click start. The cloning process takes a few minutes. Restart the computer when it's done. The Dell Inspiron 15 7559 will boot into the new SSD drive. You'll notice a difference in performance right away. Boot up is faster and apps open more quickly. But don't get too excited. The next step is to format the old drive. Start typing disk into the taskbar and select create and format hard disk partitions. Right click on disk 1 and then click online. Next, right click on the D drive and select format. Name it whatever you want and hit OK. You should now have two drives. The C drive is the new SSD where Windows is installed and the D drive where you can store your other files. Now go to settings, system, storage and change the default save locations to the D drive. For example, new apps, documents, music, pictures and videos can now all go to the D drive instead of the default C drive. And that's it. These upgrades cost just $125 in total and will make your machine run faster. For example, it took 50 seconds to open Adobe Photoshop before the upgrade. It now takes about 10 seconds. If you're looking for numbers, check out these results for Geekbench 3 and Crystal Diskmark. Upgrading the Inspiron 15 doesn't take long and you're not required to reformat the computer either. If you have one, don't wait. Go upgrade right away. I'm Mark for Windows Central. Thanks for watching.